Before working on any firearm, make sure the magazine is empty and removed. Also make sure the chamber is empty and the firearm is unloaded. <clears throat> okay, now we're going to do the reassembly of the complete firearm. Uh, it's essentially everything in reverse. So first we're going to put the trigger back into the frame, line it up in the channels, press forward. All right, once we got the trigger in, we can now install the mag catch. All right. Drop the mag catch in. You're going to rotate it, get it lined up. Let's see here. All right, turn it clockwise, and then it's all locked in. It's working correctly. Okay, now we're going to install the sear and disconnector. Sear lays flat against the back of the trigger, so this part is going to be sitting in the weapon like so. All right, with the sear resting right on it like that. Okay, drop. Drop that in, line it up. Okay. Now our sear pin has a little notch that hold, help holds the right side thumb safety in. So you gotta make sure that notch is pointing towards the rear, rear of the weapon, back where the, the hammer and hammer holes and, and uh, grip safety hole is. So once that's done, then your next step you wanna do is put the sear spring back in. Make sure the sear spring is engaged in its lower locking joint and it is setting on top of the sear leg. You want to make sure it's not underneath you guys. This is, uh, this is real important. All right. Then I put the mainspring housing on about halfway. Then I put on back on the hammer. Okay. Put the hammer pin back in. Now I cock the hammer and then I press the trigger and allow the hammer to go all the way forward. All right, once the hammer is all the way forward, next step is to install the grip safety. Now what I do to hold this grip safety in is I take the right side thumb safety and I put it back in the weapon. All right, that holds the grip safety and everything on the gun while I'm back here messing with the mainspring. Okay, you make sure that the, the strut is lined up in the center of the grip safety. Press up on it. Okay, now we can install the mainspring pin, mainspring housing pin. Take yourself a non-marring hammer, give it a few taps until she can flush. Sometimes you have to use a, a punch to get it flush. This one worked out right. So once we got that step on, then I'm gonna recock the hammer back, reinstall the plunger spring assembly. The small plunger goes forward. It's the part that rests against the back of the slide stop. All right, with that back in, now I can reassemble the thumb safeties. I put the left side in. All right, thumb safeties have to be, again, they have to be halfway in between the fire and safe mode. Then you take a small screwdriver, small punch, and press on the plunger spring, and then press them back in. You can take a screwdriver, Ensure that they're tight or again your non-marring hammer. Give a few little taps in the back corner. Make sure they're in there tight. Once we know those are on, then we can move back and install the extended magwell. Snaps right on there real nice. We'll put back on the grips. Okay, with the grips installed, the frame is uh, complete. Now we're going to get started on the slide assembly. Okay, on the slide, you're just going to do everything back in reverse again. You're going to make sure your link is pressed down. You're going to slide the barrel back in through the front. All right, there's no bushing or anything to worry about on this model. Now, <clears throat> when you reassemble the, uh, the recoil spring assembly, again, you're going to compress Reinstall your, your little tool. Now I make sure, because this has got two shelves that set flush on the two shelves on the back of the spring tunnel. You gotta make sure those are straight 
with the two corner, the two top pieces of the back of the guide rod where it rests against the, the back of the lug profile. All right, so once those are straight, then you can reassemble the recoil, put the recoil assembly back in. Okay, see how, now you'll see a lot of times, we see a lot of this with the CSs and stuff, that they won't have this reverse plug seated on the back corners of this, of the uh, recoil, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the recoil uh, tunnel. So make sure that's in there flush. Once it is, you can compress the spring, remove your little paper clip tool. All right, make sure everything's set and flush. Rotate your link forward again. All right, once we know that the link's forward, then we can go ahead and reassemble, reassemble the back portions. Now you can do this either way. You can assemble the, the extractor and firing pin and spring first and then start on that, or you can do it second. It's just personal preference. All right, uh, so first we'll put with the extractor. Get the extractor lined up. Make sure it's setting in there straight and not clocked one way or the other. All right, press down a little bit where it's setting flush. Okay. All right, then we're going to install our firing pin spring and then the firing pin. Once those two are in there, and you press down on the firing pin, pat back in your firing pin stop. Now I keep pressure on it, keep my keep constant forward pressure the way it looks in the camera for the firing pin doesn't go flying off somewhere. All right, then I depress the firing pin, reinstall the stop. Once that's done, again, make sure your link's all the way forward. Slide the slide back onto the frame. Now you can look inside look inside this hole right here if you're able to all right and you're gonna you need to move the slide a little bit to get the link to line up with the slide stop once it's lined up then you can go ahead and rotate it back line up the square notch on the frame to the half circle notch underneath the N and the D in island and then reinstall your slide stop all right, then push forward. Okay, so now we have the hammer, the firearm reassembled. Now we're gonna go through the safety functions of the firearm to ensure everything's working properly. First thing we're gonna do, is make sure the hammer's cocked back, push up on the safeties, make sure the safeties work, the thumb safety works properly. Okay, then we're gonna bring the thumb safety back down. All right, your grip safety. Then we're gonna press on the trigger with no pressure on the back of the grip safety to make sure that the grip safety is working as it should. Then I grasp the firearm as if I'm gonna, and then I pull the trigger. Okay, I keep the trigger depressed while I pull my hand away from the grip safety. Then I, then I start letting up on the trigger and you hear that click and you see the, the, the grip safety move forward. That tells me that it's engaging, engaging properly. So we know that's fine. That's the assembly and disassembly of our new tactical two firearm. Thank you.